Hello friends it's IT Noyan, from technotechforyou.com. In this presentation I am going to discuss about the OSI management model. First, the network management model. The OSI network model is an ISO standard and is most complete of all methods. It is structured and it addresses all aspects of management. OSI network management architecture model comprises four models. So, OSI network management model have four parts. First, organization model. Second, information model. Third, communication model. And fourth, functional model. In my today's presentation, I will discuss about these four models. Let's go first. The organization model describes the components of a network management system, their function and their infrastructure. The OSI information model deals with the structure and organization of management information. Then the communication model has three components. Management application process that function in the application layer, layer management between layers and layers operation which is within the layer and the functional model first deals with the user oriented requirements of network management these are the four models now the organization model we will discuss about elaborately here the organization model describes the component of network management and their relationship network object consists of network element such as host hubs, bridge, routers, etc. They can be classified into management and unmanaged object. As shown in figure 2.1, let's see the figure. In figure 2.1, there is a database in the manager, but not in the agent. The manager queries are receives management data from the agent, process them and store them in the database. The viewers in the picture you see that there is a management object and unmanaged object there are two parts and this is the manager and connected with the MDB MDB means management database as in process now in figure 2.2 present a three tier configuration the intermediate layer acts as both agent and manager as manager, it collects data from network element, processes them and stores the result in the database. As agent, it transmits information to the top level manager. So this is the figure. There are two MDB. One is connected with manager and another is connected with agent or manager. And this is manage object. Now let's see in the figure 3, network's domain can be managed locally and a global view of network can be monitored by a manager of managers, that means MOM. As shown in figure 2.3, this configuration uses an enterprise NMS and it applicable to organization with sites distributed across sites. So this is the figure, you can see. This is MOM manager, sub manager. This is on system and this is another system. Now, communication model. The manager and agent application process uses seven messages to communicate with each other. The application process interface with the application entity sub layer that is above the presentation layer the communication protocol used for inter-system communication in the common management information protocol that is cmip common management information protocol the communication model deals with the application entity layer and the inter-system masses protocol now let's see in the figure this is SMAP that means system management application process 
एस एम ए सिस्टम मैनेजमेंट एप्लीकेशन एन टी टी एस एम ए एस सी सिस्टम मैनेजमेंट एप्लीकेशन सार्विस एलिमेंट एंड सी एम आई एस सी कमन मैनेजमेंट इनफरमेशन सार्विस एन टी टी सी एम आई पी कमन मैनेजमेंट इनफरमेशन प्रोटोकल आर ओ एस सी रिमोट अपारेशन सार्विस एलिमेंट एंड ए सी ए सी दैट मीस एसोसिएशन कंट्रोल सार्विस एलिमेंट दिस इज द प्रेजेंटेशन लेयर एंड द प्रोसेस आर कनेक्टेड लाइक द फिगर नाउ इन कम्युनिकेशन मडल ए मैनेजमेंट एप्लीकेशन द एस एम ए पी कम्युनिकेट उथ एनदार फिगार्स एप्लीकेशन बै एस एम एस शोन इन फिगार टू पॉइंट फोर The SMAE comprises several service entity modules. The SMAEC service the five management application configuration for performance, security, and accounting. The CMIEC handles the communication function for SMAEC using the CMIP. The case ACAC set up and coordinate the activities of setting up and releasing an association with application now we discuss about the application function management osi management had paid a specific attention to the development of management application which motivate development of the rest of the osi management model application function management can be compartmentalized as shown in figure 2.5 as management application function area system management function is m f s and c m i s e s so let's see the figure in first row first column is invoke id first row second column operation value first row third column management based object value first row fourth column management or base object instance and at last information the cmiac service and cmip operation value are tabulated below here are show the service and the operated value confirm and the description m event report Zero or one send a specification to another open system. Multiple response to not a CMIAC service but use with scope MZET three retrieve attribute and value from management object M set four by five four or five set of modify attributes M action six or seven. initiate action in a management object and m create eight request an open system to create a management object the cmiac service and cmip operation value are tabulated below here service m delete operation value 9 and request an open system to delete management object m cancel get operation value 10 and command and this command to cancel a previously sent m get service now at last functional model the functional model component of an osi model addresses user oriented application they are formally specific in the osi model and are shown in figure 2.6 the model consists of five models OSI functional models have five parts first configuration management second fault management third performance management fourth security management and at last accounting management now configuration management addresses the setting and changing of configuration of network and network components such as switch such as switch hub and bridges fault management involves detection and isolation of the problem causing the failure of the network and nms constantly and nms constantly monitor and displays in real time measure and minor alarms based on the on the severity of failures 
next performance management is concerned with the performance be- behavior of the network the status of the network is displayed by a network monitoring system that measures the traffic and performance statistics on the network now security management covers a broad range of security aspects it involves physically securing the network access to the network resource and secure communication over the network a security database is established and maintained by the noc and at last accounting management administers cost allocation of the uses of network matrix and established to ensure the uses of resource and service provided dear viewers this is our today's discussion in our next video we will discuss about more thank you please subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon